salute to those in Christ Jesus, brothers and sisters. Uh, I just finished taking off a little bit of metal to make a little bit of money. Some metal I had laying around the yard. I was cleaning up my yard. Um, it's bad about having snakes under it and stuff. So I took that off and make a little money. And uh, I had some cans also recycle and stuff. I try to recycle. But uh, I'm starting to notice uh, everybody's starting to do it, you know. Which is sort of a good thing, but then again, it's not. You know, recycling metal is good, you know, for, for to take care of the earth, to keep the earth clean. Because God gave it to us and we need to take care of it. We don't need to throw trash on the side of the road and all out and stuff like that. We should throw it in our trash can, clean up behind ourselves. But long story short, the more people that do it, the less money um, uh, there is to be made. And I used to do it and make a little bit of money. It was pretty good money, fifty, hundred dollars, three hundred, whatever. Well, it's not like that no more. You'd be much lucky to make twenty or thirty dollars now. You know, depending on what you have. Uh, I never accumulate piles and mountains of, of it. So, of course, I'm not going to make a $1,000 or nothing, but it's really not about the money. Um, every little bit I get is helpful to people like me, you know, not being fortunate. People say, Brother, how you how you blessed with so many gifts from the Lord, you know, all nine gifts of the Spirit, I'd like to ask them, why are you so blessed and gifted with money? You know what I mean? You, you're looking at things from a different perspective because you're in a different, you know, you're, you're being blessed in a different way. You have one or two gifts and a lot of money, and I have nine gifts and hardly no money. So you got to look at it like that, too. Um, you know, it goes both ways. But long story short is uh, the more people who do something the less benefit you're going to have out of it in other words the more people who take money or uh, scrap metal off the less money you're going to start making because it's all about income and revenue and supply and demand it was in a high supply that metal be recycled back when I started doing it years ago. Around 10 years ago, maybe. Now, today, uh, it's not really needed much. I mean, so many people do it and recycle. They got piles of it and piles of it. And they don't really care if you do it or not. But, uh, one thing's for sure, job payments and, and, and income uh, wages are going down. And cost of living, such as bread, milk, cheese, butter, um, lights, stuff like that, light bill, steadily going up. Gas, gas is another thing. It's always going up. It's always on the incline, it's never on the decline. But your paycheck sure will be, or your hour sure will be, or whatever. Just sort of like a watchman's post, something on my mind I wanted to share. If you want my honest opinion, it's sort of carnal. It's not really spiritual, but yet and still, those carnal things do affect uh, church members, Christians. Um, and, and the Lord said, render unto Caesar the things that belong to Caesar, render unto God the things that belong to God. Even he knew that we would need money. Um, the book of Revelation says, if you don't have the mark of the beast, you can't buy, sell, or trade. Meaning, you can't eat, you can't have gas, you can't, you know, have anything without the mark of the Antichrist on their hand or forehead. So, the Lord knew these things would come. God's an all-knowing God. That's what sort of want to put this out there. 
I wasn't really told by the spirit or spoke. I just, it might even just be the flesh that wanted to do this video, but it still can be useful. I salute you, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray for money blessings and spiritual blessings. Come over all so that we're able to evangelize and reach the lost. In Jesus' name, amen. Help us, Lord.